What's happening, party people? Man, I am at home. Haven't done a whole lot since Thanksgiving weekend. I spent Thanksgiving weekend over at my sister's place in Charlotte, North Carolina. Before I went there, I started experiencing some pain. Pretty, pretty tough pain in my hip and lower back. Now, I experienced something like this in the past a couple of different times. One time, maybe about four years ago, you guys may remember, I was walking out of the junkyard, getting ready to pay for my stuff and get out of there, and man, just a few feet, I was on my knees. Buster Brown was with me. I had to crawl backwards into my car to get to the ER. I went to the ER in Albuquerque, the VA ER. They tried to treat me, was unsuccessful, gave me some pain medication that wasn't affecting the pain, wasn't helping. I went to a acupuncture specialist in the Albuquerque area, which did help a lot. And in just three or four visits at that acupuncture place, I was back to normal. Strange thing. Then a couple of years ago, some of you may remember, I had kidney stones that showed up as pain in my hip and lower back, kind of similar to this. So I thought maybe I got kidney stones. I started flushing water. That wasn't really helping. I went to a chiropractor here. I didn't have one here. I went to one that uh, Elizabeth recommended and I asked them, did they do the activator method? They said, yeah, when I got there, they switched up. They started bone crushing. That doesn't work for me. Well, anyway, after two treatments, that didn't help. So I went to the VA ER. Uh, they quickly told me without any examination, they asked me to stand up and lift up my legs, told me I had arthritis, gave me some steroid pills, like a four or five day regimen, uh, gave me some pain medication, patted me on the back of the head, sent me on. I was not happy about that. So I went up to my primary care and kind of complained a little bit to them. And uh, they wanted to brush me off too. So I, I let them know I was not happy, kind of upset. So they sent me down to get a urine test and a blood test. They said they could tell if there's any kidney stone activities going on with that. They called me a couple days later, said I did not have any uh, symptoms of kidney stones through those two tests. So anyway, I was in Charlotte. In kind of mild pain, occasionally uh, moderate pain, and very uh, occasionally severe pain. Like every once in a while, I just have like spasms just hit me so hard I had to stop walking. So I come back home and pain's no better. Back to the chiropractor. Wasn't helping, so I decided maybe I better try acupuncture. So I went back to the VA hospital and set an appointment to go to an acupuncture specialist. On a Friday, uh, last Friday, I went to this chiropractor and the bone crusher and they jerked me around, popped my neck, my back, my lower back. And through the weekend, now I got back and neck pain. Like a pinched nerve in my neck. I, I assumed it was from that chiropractor jerking me around. So anyway, Monday, I decided to find the type of chiropractor that has worked for me in the past, those that use the activator method. So I went to the chiropractor and got treatment Monday. I guess that was yesterday. Sunday night, I went with uh, Byron and Elizabeth to someone's house to watch football. I couldn't walk up the driveway. I had to walk backwards up the driveway. Crawled up the stairs, watched some of the football game with the Bengals, uh, I guess they won, beat uh, Kansas City, which is a tough team to beat. So that's they claim the fame right now, beating Kansas City. But uh, man went to this chiropractor Monday, and he made some adjustments that I think really helped. So Monday I came back. I wasn't in that much pain Monday, but Monday I came back feeling better. And... Last night was the best night's sleep I've had in a long time. I, whew, man, I got a lot of sleep last night. I found some kind of a, a rub on the stick that somebody gave me, I think, when I was in Seattle. 
that might have been uh, Miss Betsy had this white S70. Uh, man, I, I put that stuff on. It has some cannabis in there. And I slept last night, and man, I slept pretty good. I woke up almost no pain at all. I mean, just a little bit of soreness. So I went back to the acupuncture place today, and I did a little work today for the first time. I replaced the radiator, uh, was going to change some spark plugs. They ended up not needing to be replaced and did a couple other things. And man, I I went on my walk about an hour ago. It's 7 p.m. now, man. I'm feeling pretty good. So I am going to take a trip in a few days. Now, I got a lot of work to do to Panther. I got another car out here. I needed a lot of work to I hope I can do everything I need to do on Panther tomorrow and then probably the next car Thursday. And a couple things on the car that Elizabeth is driving, maybe Friday. And so Saturday morning, probably, this is my best guess, I will be headed to the Chicago area. The uh, lady in Hammond, Indiana, uh, her car is jerking around on the road. Somebody told her her steering knuckle uh, where it attaches close to her steering rack is busted. I, I don't, I've never seen one of those busted, so that would be interesting to see. I actually think the steering rack is messed up, so I'm going to pay her a visit. Then I got my buddy John up there, pay him a visit, and I got a couple other people in the Chicago area that I plan on seeing and helping. Um, I'm willing to stay in the Chicago area till probably next Saturday, the 17th. So if you are in the Chicago area and you need a help, if you are in the Chicago area and you need some help with a Volvo, go ahead and call or text me and I will uh, see if I have enough time to help you. I'll try to get you in. I can't imagine that these three or four people that I'm planning to help will take me longer than a day each. So I will probably have some time that I can help another person or two before I come back here Saturday evening. So uh, I felt great today. I still feel good. I'm going to do some work, like I said, on Panther tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get through with everything on Panther tomorrow. I need to replace a turbo. I need to replace the struts. I need to replace a uh, driver's side CV axle. I need to replace the rotors. i uh, got a couple other things I need to do to that car. Then i got another car I need to do a day's worth of work on. Uh, it's supposed to rain, so I might have to find some shelter to do this stuff in, because right now, I, I, don't, I don't have any shelter. i got a, a canopy I could put up. Maybe might do that. We'll see how the weather is. A couple days ago, it started raining. The wind was blowing so bad, I couldn't do nothing out there. I had to get inside. Uh, but today, it kind of misted and drizzled all day, which would be fine for my canopy. So, And it was nice. Heck, I just went for my walk. I was sweating uh, in the 50s. Just a little bit of uh, clothes I did have on. So anyway, that's where I'm at. That's what I've been doing. I'm hopefully going to be feeling better the next few days and won't be having these hip and back problems. They claim it was arthritis, so I'm going to be trying to tweak my diet again to keep down inflammation. They said that's the best thing for arthritis. And uh, that's where I'm at. So hope you guys enjoyed the little fragment of clips I got to put up over from over the last few days. And uh, hopefully I'll get back to posting some Decent videos that you guys enjoy, so thanks for watching. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. I am here with Wally Ray. Say hello, Wally. Hey, guys. We are in the 850. I am in the left seat. Yes, left seat, right seat. Look at that steering wheel. Nice 960 style steering wheel, but this is a T5R. Let me try to clear this lens off a little bit. Yeah, a little bit better. 
and this thing is kilometers only. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. This is a Japanese market T5R yellow wagon. Got the little special emblem there. And man, look at this, baby. This is one clean, clean A50 T5R. Got the Euro style headlights, Euro style corners. Oh, he's missing a hook cover. I'm gonna have to send him a hook cover. <laughs> yes, sir. This thing is ready to roll. Man, that thing is clean. Clean. Look at this. And this is the great USA. Them brand new Michelin pilots on there, boys. Are those the pilots? New wheels, new tires. Oh, really? You got new these wheels? These are the, I bought these from George and Viva. Uh-huh. The Volvo Classic parts in Sweden ran a new batch of Titans. Really? They, uh, maybe just a few hundred of them, but he sold me a set of them. Uh huh. It took me like seven months for curb hits. Okay, so it does have the original Neva mats on the back. Sad to say, I have no idea what happened to the rest of the clips from this meeting with Wally Ray. We went around the rest of the car, we opened up the engine bay. It has the P2 T5 engine in it. It was kind of surprising to see how everything was placed this being a right hand drive car so it's got a lot of unique parts for right hand drive situation so i guess if he ever needs to get parts that go into that engine bay or have anything to do with this right hand drive system he's going to have to get them parts from europe specifically great britain probably then we went for a test drive man that car hit it hard it's running great and then we looked at the saffron v70r that wally ray has so we had quite a visit there with wally ray and then i wrapped it up and wally is close to the charlotte north carolina area so that's all i got for today guys i hope you guys have a great day i hope to post something for you tomorrow if you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.